Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this is filming. I don't know, my phone's being like really wonky right now, but um, whatever. Gatsby, it's okay. Um, if you can't tell, uh, Gatsby and I are back in my pool house, and that's because that is where I'm keeping these little candles for now. Um, because they're gonna be my outdoor candles and I have not gotten my outdoor patio furniture yet It's supposed to be coming in the next like week or so Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep these outside because I mean they're just like handmade by me They're not like legitimate candles. So I don't know If they're good to just like keep outside year round So I'm probably just gonna keep them in here Which is where I'm gonna keep like the storage of like all of our you know, like utensils and outdoor plates and etc. So Anyway, um, I've been posting these um, candles that you see in front of you on my wax Instagram on Lindsay Loves Wax. And uh, Brenda, who's Pretty Polka Dots here on YouTube, she asked if I could do a video explaining how I make these. And I was like, that is such a great idea. So here I am. <laughs> I'm sorry my voice is still crazy. My allergies are still driving me nuts. <clears throat> this is me in the spring. It sucks. I hate the spring. Um, anyway. I was calling these emergency candles, um, but then they came out so pretty <clears throat> that, oh gosh, Gatsby's going nuts. They came out so pretty that I decided I really wanted to use them. Oh, I hope you heard that squeaky on because that was really cute. Um, I wanted to use them as like a centerpiece for my outdoor table patio because they're so colorful and I just thought they would look really cute. Like sitting on the table outside. So anyway, um, I've seen people do this on Instagram before and basically um, people take like a cup or any type of container and they dump their hot wax into it. So I don't have my warmer with me right now. I just have the plate and this is solid. He's just like squeak yawning all over the place over there, aren't you? He's like barking at his toys, but we did like an insect cleaning in here and I haven't cleaned his toys yet. So I gotta bring those back into the main house, run them through the dishwasher, and then he can play with them. So anyway, um, not that I think the guy sprayed his basket of toys, but just to be safe. So this is the hot warmer dish. This is the 24 watt Glade warmer. Gatsby. Yeah. You wanna like chew this or something? What? Come here. You can't just sit here and whine. Come on, sit on the couch or something. Sorry guys. So this is the Mainstays 24 watt hot plate warmer. And as you can see, there's a solid chunk of wax in here. Now some people pop these in the freezer and then you can dump it upside down and the wax will pop out. What I do is I turn my warmer on before I'm gonna change out my wax so that all of this liquefies. And it's the same way it is when like the scent is throwing. Um, it gets into a liquid. And what I do is I've been just pouring it into these containers and that's what you see in front of you. So this. These are the same things. This is actually used wax. Um, actually, I love the bottom of this one with the glitter. This is a southbound wax, I believe. Um, so what I did was I took containers. So this one that you see in front of you, um, and this one's a little messy. As you can see, there's like cracks and stuff in it. And this one's smooth. And that's because every time I poured wax in here, it covered the whole surface, whereas this it didn't, because this was a really big container. So this is a big plastic Tupperware. And I see a lot of people do this with, um, What's it called? Gatsby! Gatsby! Come on, you can't have these toys. Mommy has to clean them first, okay? I'm sorry. Um, so I, he's just gonna stand there and whine. Guys, I'm sorry, you're gonna have puppy whining this whole video, there's nothing I can do. Um, so anyway, um, I've seen a lot of people do this with like a plastic cup, like from like, I don't know, a plastic coffee cup, a paper cup. So that way when the wax is full to the top, you can literally just rip the cup off and then it'll say like the wax isn't gonna stick to the surface of the cup. So you can rip it right off and you'll be left with one of these. Um, so what I did was a Tupperware. Now as I put it in, I could feel it like loosening up on this one. So it was really heavy because this is a lot of wax. This is probably like a good couple of pounds. This is really heavy, this one. So um, I put the whole Tupperware into the freezer. This, oh, there's glitter on the bottom of this one too. So I put this whole Tupperware in the freezer and it shrinks the wax a little bit and this baby popped right out. So, see how it's cracking up here though? And that's just because the wax didn't cover the whole surface area, so there's like holes in it, I guess. But it'll be fine once it burns down. I know, Gatsby. I know, I'm sorry. So anyway, um, 
that was my first one and I really love the way this came out. I think it's so beautiful and because there's so much wax in here, it's so big, there's so many different colors and like no one side looks the same. It's just all different. Um, but because it was such a big surface and I don't melt that much wax at once, there are cracks and holes in it. So I don't think I'm ever gonna use this big of a size again. I mean, I don't know, I might because it is really cool looking. Um, but I do think it's easier to handle when it just comes out in one solid piece. So this is a giant Tupperware. Um, I wouldn't recommend something this big unless you really melt a lot of wax at once. Like this is a little bit, this wouldn't even cover the whole surface. Um, so then I did this coffee cup and this was one of those plastic, uh, you're going nuts. This was one of those plastic reusable coffee cups from 7-Eleven. And as you can see, it's really narrow, much more narrow than this one. And this one was really easy. I just poured the wax in, it covered the entire surface area, and it came out to this really smooth, really even um, looking pillar candle. So I would definitely recommend doing a smaller um, surface. The other really important thing to keep in mind is if you're using plastic or Tupperware, something that you can't just rip off the edges, you want to make sure um, that the mouth and the opening of this piece is wider on top than it is the bottom. Because I am an idiot and I started making one of these in a wine glass because I was like, oh, that'll look cool. But the opening of the wine glass is thinner than the base of the wine glass, so there's no way to get the wax out. So just make sure it's wider on top, thinner on the bottom, and you'll be fine. This one I actually pulled out right by the wick, and this whole thing popped right out of the cup. Like, super easy, I didn't need to freeze it, nothing. Um, so another thing people were asking was, how do I get the wick in there? So I buy these wicks um, from Michaels, and I'm sorry, I meant to grab my package of wicks for this video. It just comes in like um, a bubble wrap, not a bubble wrap, but you know, the like blister ceilings with like the cardboard on the back and then it's got the plastic on the front. I think it was like three bucks and it came with six wicks, I believe, and they're really long. This is actually an uncut wick right here. So they're really long and what they have is they have this little piece of metal on the bottom exactly like you would see in a candle. So what I do is I take this wick and I put, I put it right down. I don't glue it down because obviously I'm going to be removing these and I find that they stay in there fine. The only thing that makes me nervous is like as the candle gets lower it'll probably like shift it around but then whatever the candle will just be done. That's not really that important to me. Um, I don't think you need to glue it down especially if you're not going to be using the same Tupperware. I've seen people make these in mason jars and if you're doing a mason jar again the opening is much more narrow than the rest of it so you won't be able to pull it out of the mason jar you'll have to burn it in the jar so if you're doing a mason jar I would say go for it and go ahead and glue the bottom down to the jar but if you're planning on removing the wax you really don't have to so now as you can see this is a plastic Tupperware this is the exact same material that both of these were well this was a Tupperware this one was just a plastic coffee cup um, and as you can see the wax is already popped out it really the wax does not stick to this material for whatever reason so I'm just gonna continue to to fill this and then it'll just pop right up and this is similar to this one now as you can see like there's holes that's what I mean by the wax doesn't get to the edges so this will make the same sort of pockets and holes and drips that this one has it won't be as smooth looking as this one but that's fine for me because I think that look is kind of cool and I figured if it's shorter because I want these all to be different shapes and sizes and just put them out on my table which is going to be like a white what like a driftwood washed wood table um with stainless steel legs and then I have white um, chairs and like an orange umbrella. So everything is like bright, light, or color, or like orange and colorful. So I thought these would be a really cool pop of color. Honey, relax. I know mommy has to clean those toys. I'm sorry, baby. So anyway, um, that's what I do. I put the wick in the bottom of the Tupperware and then every time these totally melt, I just dump them right into the wick. And what I do is, I hold the wick up straight as I pour, and I'll hold it for like a second or two. The wax starts to solidify really fast. And as you can see, the wick kind of stays and does its own thing. So with this one, I just kind of have been bending it, and that keeps it pretty upright, bending it over the Tupperware. Um, but as it like solidifies, you can kind of adjust the wick around so you can keep it centered. Um, and that really has worked fine for me. But yeah, I just dump it right in. And that's how I make it. And that's what makes these really pretty layered looks. Um, I try to 
if I'm melting, like if I have like four warmers on at once and I want to pour them all into the candle, I give them like five, 10 minutes between dumping each one. Guys, this takes like a lot of patience. But, um, cause if you were to pour them all together, you'll get like, well, I haven't done it, but you'll get like a funky color. This one's kind of like that, but these were gray waxes. Like all the colors will mesh together and you won't get those lines. Um, but of course, like if you're doing it every day, each day will make a new line and it just, you'll blend the colors a lot. I try not to blend them. So I try to do like one warmer and then I'll go do something else and then I'll pour another warmer in so I can really get all those pretty colors in there. Uh, Kathy. So yeah, that's what I do. I put the wick in first, I put it in plastic and then every day I just pour. So this one took me about a little under three weeks to make of just dumping wax. And this one took like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So I'm assuming this will probably be the same, maybe like two weeks or so, because this is like really wide. But I feel like this one's gonna look super cute. And again, like you see, it, just, it comes out super easily. So I'm not worried about how I'm gonna remove the wax out of here. Trust me, it'll just pop right out. Um, yeah, these are super, super easy to do. And the results, I think, are so beautiful. I love the way that these look. I think they're so cool. And I think they're gonna be such a conversation starter. Like, people are gonna be like, what are those candles? Like, hopefully people will like them as much as I do. But they've been getting a lot of love on Instagram. So I'm hoping, like, my real life friends will be like, yeah, those are really cool. Or they're gonna be like, what are those garbage candles? Um, but I love them. And I think it's a really cool way to recycle and reuse. Like, I pretty much just. I don't dump my hot wax straight into the garbage. What I do is like, well, sometimes I dump it, but for the most part, I wipe it out with a paper towel and then I have to like clean the dish out with a paper towel. So I realized that I was creating a lot of waste doing that. Like every time I have what, like four or five warmers going at a time. And every time I clean out the warmer, I'm using two paper towels. Like it was getting really, really wasteful. So when I started seeing these on Instagram, and some people use the wicks, some people don't. Some people just pour them in the cup and pull the whole thing out, maybe to avoid the waste. Um, but I thought, those are so beautiful. I love the way they look. I think they would look really cool as a candle. Um, obviously, they're unscented, and obviously, they're not in a jar. So if you make these in like a mason jar, you don't have to worry about a mess. The candle is just gonna burn, it'll pull out, the wax will disappear, and you're fine. You'll just be left with an empty mason jar. But these are like pillars, so I'm gonna have to put these on a plate or a dish or something, because as they melt, obviously the wax is gonna go everywhere, um, which I don't mind. I'll just make sure I keep them on something and then you can just like pick the wax off. So that's not that big of a deal to me. Um, what else? I'm trying to think if there are any other questions. So yeah, you get the wicks at Michael's and then you can honestly use like any type of Tupperware or if you go to Starbucks, you could probably use like your plastic Starbucks cup or your cardboard coffee cup because you can just cut or tear those right off. So a Starbucks cup would be perfect. I mean, literally any cup. You could probably even go to 7-Eleven and get like a big gulp and make a giant one because these wicks are pretty long and they're super cheap, so easy, so um, eco-friendly, reusable. I just love that. Um, and yeah, I think they're gonna look really cool outside. My husband's like, what the hell are you gonna do with all these? I'm like, I'm just gonna put them out everywhere. And, just, and he's like, great, and ruin like a bunch of plates and stuff. So I'll probably just buy like some cheap dishes from the Christmas tree shop or something to leave them on. Um, yeah, but that's, that's what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> and I love it. I think I'm gonna get like a long platter type dish and line them up. And that'll be like the centerpiece on my table because my table's a rectangular shape. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep making these. I'm just going to keep making these till I have enough. I'm probably going to put them out around my pool. Um, I would assume they're unscented because I pour this hot like when the fragrance is gone. But um, someone had commented on one of my posts about these and she said that she made it herself too. And she was surprised that as she was burning down, it was still giving off fragrance. And she was like, oh, this is nice. It was like reminding her of the wax she had melted and she was still getting whiffs of the fragrances. Um, I don't know if it'll be that strong outside. Hopefully it won't attract any bugs. Um, Dan was like, you should put some like citronella oil in there, but I didn't want to because citronella oil, like it's, I don't know, but it's like some people say it's dangerous. Some people say it's not. So I wouldn't like just drop citronella oil in it because obviously like you only have little bits of hot wax at once. So if you were to put essential oils in here, like you're not really distributing it evenly. Like the candle may burn and you may have some pockets of fragrance and some pockets of no fragrance. So I honestly just, I wouldn't even mess around with the fragrance oil because I don't know how that would even work. It's such a little bit of wax you're making at a time. But um, 
It is really, really fun. They're so much fun to make. I think they're so pretty. Um, just having them out just looks like, it's so funny, like people come over and they're like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, Dan's like, that's our emergency candles. And I'm like, yeah, I love them. Uh, so I just keep playing around with different things I can make them in and um, like different holders and different like pieces of stuff Like I keep trying to remember to bring home like a cup from Starbucks like when I get my like iced tea or something But I keep forgetting but yeah, I'm just gonna keep making them and if you make one yourself Please let me know either tag me on Instagram or send me a private message of it If you make these I would love to see them. I think they're so beautiful. I think they're so freaking cool so definitely let me know if you make one yourself and I would love to see how it goes. And if you have any other questions um, that I didn't cover in this video, if there's anything that's still confusing, if there's anything you're still unsure of, if you need any tips, anything else like that, leave it in a comment in this video. Shoot me a message on Instagram. Whatever you need, I'm an open book. Let me know. I'm happy to talk about these. I think they're super cool. Um, and it's a great way to use up old wax. It's a great way to eliminate um, mess. I've been using a kitchen towel to clean out my warmers. I used to use paper towels, but I'm really, really trying to decrease the usage of paper towels because I feel like I go through way too many of them. Um, so I've been using just a kitchen towel and like one obviously I don't care about anymore and just I keep like re-wiping it. And I haven't even washed it yet because it's not like that much wax. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should put this in like the, the washing machine because it's got like wax in it and may fuck something up. So I've just been using the same dish towel over and over again. I'll probably just like hose it down outside when it when it's too like waxy to keep using. But so far it's been like well over a month and I haven't need to change it out yet. Um, so that's that. That's how I make my my old wax candles, my emergency candles, whatever you want to call them. Um, and that is it for this video. So I'm gonna let you guys go. And I'm gonna clean this mess as you see there's like wax everywhere. And yes, Gatsby, I'm gonna wash your toys. So if you wanna see him, oh, 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 so see, look guys, it's like a mess. Oh, where'd you go? There he is. Hello, bud. What? And that's the basket of toys he's been crying at. And there's the warmer. And there's just so much work to do. We just power washed the deck, so that's what that is. And it's nice to be in here. I haven't like been in here in a while. Dan slept in here the other night because, well, obvious reasons why he didn't want to sleep with me. Um, we're gonna fill the pool soon. Can I help you? <laughs> You're absolutely. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at him. What? All right, guys. So yeah, like I said, if you have any other questions, that's my um. This is how I've been filming in here. I'm telling you, we're just, that's how we roll. So if you have any questions on these, anything else you want to know, like I said, leave a comment, shoot me a message, whatever you need. I'm happy to help. Look at that wick. That is cracking me up. Um, and yeah, and then obviously the wicks are still really tall when I finish them. I just trim them to my desired length. So I've been giving them like whatever that is, like an inch or so. I know you want your toys. Um, yeah, so I trim them when I pluck the wax out. And that's really it. Like I said, really is easy. Um, depending what vessel you use to pour your wax into, they're all going to look different. No one is ever going to be exactly the same. So, <laughs> oh, geez. All right, 20 minutes. Let me go. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.